These are the remains of a chemical research lab that was built around 1907 by a guy nicknamed Carbide Wilson. He got that nickname because he invented a process for making carbide. And he used this research lab to, to do some research with phosphorus to come up with an easy way to make fertilizer. This is a historic site not far from Meech Lake in Quebec. And it's well known, it's a protected site in the Gatineau Park. This building would have housed a water turbine for water that would have come down this pipe here and flowed into the floor before going back out the other side, back into the stream. There's certainly not much left of the interior here. Everything's been collapsed or, or, or destroyed. There's a close-up of the pipe and the floor that would take the water back outside. Presumably the turbine would be located right around here, halfway between the intake and the outlet. This is the downstream side of the building. There's no sign of where the pipe would exit. It's an archway here, but maybe the pipe would have exited underwater perhaps. This is the surface up, up close, so it's coated with cement that's been dissolved and then it's stuck on the way back down with rainwater. Here's what's left of the historic plaque, kind of hard to read now. This is a little bridge that goes over top of the river. This structure here, there's no description of what it's for, but I assume it's some kind of chemical process. So this is the middle of the chemical thingy. Tunnel going out. I'll go in the other tunnel. So it looks like some kind of centrifugal and gravity kind of separator. There's the remains of part of the dam. I'm going to take a look at that shortly. So the water would flow through there or through a pipe that's back there. Into that, into that pipe right there and then into the, the research lab. Here's looking down the water intake. Nice them to put that safety fence there. Definitely not an original part of the structure. This is the back side of the dam. And there's where the pipe comes out. Presumably would have connected with another pipe that would have went to the entrance in the building. This is the top of the dam with the next to useless safety fence to keep tourists off. So it looks like this dam would have held a head of about uh, three meters of water behind it. metal channel where a control door would have gone. So that'd be the intake pipe right down there.
That's the end of the line on this side. Here are things from the opposite side of the dam. Here's the front side of the dam and the pipe taking the water would be somewhere under there. Looks like it's, it's probably plugged up with a bunch of logs and stuff. Oh, and there's some graffiti. No cement wall would be complete without graffiti. This is a Nook Shook artwork. So bored tourists have come in and piled up rocks on top of each other to form what's called an Inuit, an Inukshuk, or a stone man.